Hey everybody, it's SelectionPDQ.com. I'm going to take you through advanced collections and filtering. So uh, let's do a new dynamic collection. And we're going to look for computers where the OS name contains win Windows 10. Now I'm going to name this collection Win 10 Pro. Okay. The reason I'm doing this, I'll show you. So we'll give this an OK. And Right now, here we go, here's our collection. And you'll notice it's gonna pull up all the machines that are Windows 10. Well, you notice right here, there's Windows 10 Enterprise, Windows 10 Enterprise N. I don't want those in my collection. So well, let's just pop this collection back open. And we're gonna add another filter here where the, the OS name does not contain, OS name, there we go does not contain the word enterprise. Let's see if I spelled that right. Give that an okay. And we should see those three machines disappear out of this after. There we go. Now let's break this down and explain what I just did. All right, obviously I'm doing some filtering. Right now I'm looking for computers that contain Windows, uh, Windows 10 in the name. Now this is a one-to-one -one relationship. An example of this is one computer can have one computer OS running on it. In this case, Windows 10. Now because of that, I can also go back in and exclude the enterprise portion of this. And that's why it filtered from you know Windows 10 with the enterprise and the pro just down to the Windows 10 Pro. So my collection now is a Win 10 Pro collection versus you know anything with Windows 10. Now Let's take a look at another one, another collection, um, or uh, we'll build another dynamic collection, and we're going to look at applications. So I want, we're going to call this uh, this application group, or this uh, dynamic collection 7-zip. Now we're going to look for all the computers that have the application name that contains 7-zip. Give that an OK. Here's our new 7-zip collection. After, there we go. These are all the machines. Let's just take a look. Guinness, we'll double click on that. We'll go to the applications page. There it is, 7-zip is on this machine, which is great. This, again, I'm looking at any application with the word that contains 7-zip. These machines all have 7-zip on it. Now let's say I needed to build a new collection that I need machines that don't have 7-zip on it. So let's go and we'll once again, application name, and we'll go does not contain 7-zip. And we'll just call this the needs 7-zip collection. Okay. Now when I run this, here we go. I've got 30, how many computers do I have? I've got 32 computers in my lab here. When I run this, I have, I actually look at that, 30 machines that need 7-zip. The math doesn't add up. Here's why. Let's just take a look again. Here's the machines. And again, I'm looking for or machines with the application that contains 7-Zip. And these are the machines that have it. So let's just look up Noob Noob here. We'll open Noob Noob. Noob Noob's got it. That's great. Is Noob Noob in the other collection here? Yeah, why is it in both? And this is why. If you look at this, break the logic down. Application name does not contain 7-Zip. Now, this is an example of a one-to-many relationship. For example, let's just pop up Noob Noob, okay? Applications, Noob Noob has 7-Zip on it, so it qualifies for the, it contains 7-Zip. So if it does not contain 7-Zip, well, this line doesn't qualify, but the Adobe Creative Cloud right here does not contain 7-Zip, or nor does the Illustrator or Band Zip. So each one of these applications that is not 7-Zip qualifies in this case, and so it's going to fall into that collection. This is how you have to think about it when you're trying to do a one-to-many relationship. See, one computer can have many applications on it, hence the one-to-many relationship. Now, to think about that, to get what you're looking for, we're going to open this up, and instead of going after <clears throat> the name does not contain, find all the ones that you need again. Contain 7-Zip. Think of this as a container. These are all the machines that contain 7-Zip that have them application that contains 7-zip, but return me not any of this collection. We'll give that an okay. 
And now we should see 32 minus 18, 14 machines. Once this hap once this uh, the the uh, collection uh, updates, five needs seven zip. Thirty needs seven zip. I must have hit cancel. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, I did. So we'll go back here. Contains once again. Not any, hit OK, not cancel. That works a lot better now. So at this point, membership's updating and we should have, boom, there we go, 14. So again, now if I go and look at Allen Rails and applications, there is no seven zip. So once again, when you're looking at a one-to-many relationship, make sure you think about it like this. Look for, if you're looking, you know, I want machines that don't have it, Find it, think of that container, and then don't return me anything from that container, and you're going to get the results you want. That's basic advanced filtering for dynamic collections. I'm Lex from PDQ.com. Thanks for watching.